For this video, I'm unboxing my first order of acrylic pins from Sticker Mule. I wanted to update my Etsy shop for 2021, so I thought this was a good time to try out their pins since I order stickers from them pretty often. This video isn't sponsored or affiliated with Sticker Mule, I bought these pins myself. But I do have their generic referral link in the description if you want $10 off of your first order. I ordered three different designs, which is probably a little excessive for something I've never ordered before, but I got the minimum amount, which is 10 of each one. I'm most excited about this one, so I'll open it first. Instead of bagging the pins individually, they put a protective film on the front of each pin that I will have to peel off. Eventually you'll see me use a nail file on the edge to loosen the film. That seemed to work the best. I specifically wanted the moon to be clear on this one so that I can actually try and customize it, which I'll try right after I've looked at the other pins. So far I think the pins look pretty cool and I really like how this one turned out. I wanted the other pins to be mostly clear as well, but when I sent my designs for them to make proofs, they responded that the pin backing would show through if I left it without a solid background behind the artwork. They sent me back a mock-up with a white background behind the entire design, which I thought looked a little too much like a sticker, and for me the transparency of this type of pin is what makes it cool, so I added the circle as a background instead to hide the backing while still keeping most of the pin transparent. I actually sell this design as a sticker already, but without the green background, so it was a bit of a change, but I think it worked out nicely. I tried out a few different color backgrounds before sending this one in, and I'm really happy with this color combination. And last, I did this pomegranate one. It's one of my older drawings that I liked but never did anything with, so now it's a pin. Unfortunately, when I added the background, I picked too dark of a color, so it's a little hard to see. If I reordered this one, I'd definitely redesign it a bit. The lavender pin is one and a half inches tall, and the other two are one and a quarter of an inch tall. And if you're wondering, the plastic on all of the pins is one eighth of an inch thick. So the reason I wanted the moons to be clear is so I can paint them. I was originally thinking I'd have to sand the plastic down a bit first, but the way it's printed I think it would damage the artwork. Luckily it seems to be working fine as it is. This actually turned out a lot better than I expected. I'm pretty pleased with myself. When I ordered the pins, I also ordered these plain business cards to use as backing cards. I figure I can write or draw whatever I want on them. I think the natural and unfinished look of the cards kind of helps to balance out the plastic look of the pins. Overall, I'm really happy with these pins, aside from the one being just a little bit too dark, but that's my own fault. I really hope that they'll sell so I can design some more. If you're here because you're thinking about trying acrylic pins yourself, I hope this video helped you to decide. Personally, I think it comes down to being smart with your design. Remember that something solid needs to be in the center of the design to hide the backing pin, but other than that, you should definitely play around with the fact that it's transparent plastic. In my opinion, that's what sets these apart from other kinds of pins and makes them interesting. As you might expect, these pins are currently available in my Etsy shop. And like I said, there is a $10 off link for Sticker Mule in the description for first time buyers if you want to try them out. If you're considering opening an Etsy shop, be sure to check out my playlist of Etsy related videos where I talk about my shop, how I started, and what to do if you want to start your own shop. Thanks for watching!